I had a dream about the writer in Jerusalem coming from afar to meet me at the gate of lions. Web of spicy alleys, spellbound pilgrims blocking Via Della Rosa. Mount Temple is gold and Armenian blue. Mad seers, oracles, angels everywhere. We are sipping from tiny cups, coffee with cardamom. His eyes blazing torch, his words beads of amber. Show me in the places of your childhood, he says. Show me ancient altars, catacombs, and idols of antiquity. Take me to the hideouts of the kings and prophets, to the temple of the cunning goddess. Show me Galilee, Damascus, Babylon, drunken maidens, hugging cedars of Lebanon. In full moon, take me to the caves of roaring fires, searing meat. Show me pristine wilderness, fossils of gigantic lizards, reptiles, mastodons. The sheer loneliness of mankind in the face of doubt. Show me the first light, first whisper, first bliss of soul. Then some day look for my distant home across the ocean. In Hagerman, the writer's memory is fading. Only an old man from the fish hatchery down the valley is sadly nodding, raising his arms towards the woods. He was living there. Very private person, kept to himself. The house caught fire long ago, nothing left except a chimney. The sun is rising again on the wild ones. Epitaphs of soot and ivory. Two reckless spirits are roaming the primeval hills of Idaho, bitter in vain, chasing the shadow of their destiny. Arriving from Canaan, land of purple, the testament of man in my heart, I stood awestruck in front of the lonesome chimney, rust, debris, moldy suitcase, a bathtub upside down, pink mortar, pieces of melted glass upon the slope. How many planes, how many splendid ideas went up in flames, swept to the river, scattered by winds beyond the thunder, forever.